Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru Fowl here, and welcome back for more The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Blind. In the last episode, we beat the Forest Temple, our very first temple, and it was very, very awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. But we must move on with our adventure. In this episode, we are going to go to the east in search of the spirit called Elden that we were told about in the last episode, so let's go ahead and get started. If only I knew where east was, though. Map, where do I go? Alright, so this is the area we've already been to. That's where the temple was up here, I believe. Um, back there is where the village is. But there's a fork in the road here which leads this way. Which leads to a huge, massive area that we haven't even been to yet. I want to say that's where I need to go. And it is to the east. So you know what? Let's go ahead and go this way. Because I have a feeling that we need to go this way. And if I have a feeling, then obviously I'm right. Then again, that is a really false statement because I am pretty dumb. Um, so, what do you expect out of me? Hello, sir. What do you have to say today? Hey, guy, how's the oil level in your lantern? I'll fill your lantern for the brim for just 20 rupees. Um, no, I already have a bottle for that. You keep using that lantern, and if it runs out of oil, come see me, guy. Say, guy, you been to the forest temple yet? Well, yes, I have. Isn't it great? I mean, sure, there is a... There have been a bunch, a couple monsters stirring up things up lately, but still. That's just the world we live in right now, you know what I mean? Things are rough all over. Okay. So. Actually, no, before I forget, let's go ahead and fill our bottle. Or fill our lantern with some oil. Because it's a little bit more than halfway full. And just in case if we need it. Actually, that could have been a really dumb idea. No, midnight. Oh, there are two more few shadows. Yes, I am aware of that. That's what I was just going to do before I accidentally pressed the Z button. <laughs> Alright, so I know I'm just going right into the story right away. If there's any side quests or anything that I could have gotten before doing this, feel free to post in the comments. I'll be sure to go back to it when I'm finished with this whole spiel. I just really want to get into story progression, and I don't really want to waste any more time. I don't want to waste any time just looking around, going to the same area I've already been to and just spending like half the video doing nothing if I don't find anything that I that is worthwhile or if there's even a side quest even back there but feel free to post it if there is ooh and we're in Hyrule Field now which is really really awesome because the music here is really really cool now that I'm listening to it a little bit more just kind of observing the music I love the music in this game. I know it's I know it's the GameCube and it's a lot more better than the N64 game, like the music itself. Ooh, we can call Epona, can't we? Sweet, this would be a lot easier traveling through the Hyrule fields. So let's go see if Epona will come to us. Nothing happened. Apparently Epona does not come to us. That's not nice. But anyways guys, like I said, I'll say it again if there's um, any side quests I could have done before going this way, feel free to tell me in the comments. I'll be sure to go back to it and get some more heart pieces, because I really do want more health if there is heart pieces. Um, me just being very, very defensive. So, hold on, where exactly am I going here? Map, where do I need to go? Okay, there are three ways I can go. However, we were told to go to the east, to this, whatever this area is, it's pretty huge. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna go with my instinct and um, what the person with that god this person told me and saying we're just gonna go that way because we need to go to the east to uh, the spirit called Elden and I believe this is where I need to go. I'm just taking a risk or not a risk, I'm taking a chance. Well, risk and chance are pretty much the same thing. I'm being dumb. Hey, yay! Get me out of this conversation, guys. We know where it's going anymore. And what the hell? Go no further. There is a black wall ahead that blocks the way. I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier, known to some as the Postman. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press start to open your collection screen, then select a letter. You can do it. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it whenever you see fit. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! I have two words to say about- well, not two words. I have two things to say about this guy. He's very, very strange. He runs weird. Well, actually, that's three things. And he's very, very determined and very dependent. I, 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 I can respect someone who's very determined, so that's awesome. All right, let me go ahead and read the mail that I just got. Well, where is it? There's my rupees. There's my hidden skills. There's fish journal. There's what I need, the letters. If I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high speed. 
please do not flee. If someone's running towards me at high speed, I'm probably gonna run away. Just an FYI. <laughs> Cause that's kind of weird, just a random person running towards me. I'm like, oh my god, he's gonna kill me! So, and usually things that run at me really fast are usually the things that try to kill me. As I've come to notice from these games. So. Oh, oh, whoa! Here's a lot of hearts and rupees galore. Holy cow. But here we are. Here we are. Hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is? If you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from the twilight anyway. So, shall we try to go see the light of the spirit of Elden? Hee <laughs> hee. I think we should. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Want me to take it to the twilight? Of course, Minda. Of course I want you to take me into the twilight. Why wouldn't I? So crazy. Alright, so now that we are this way... Or not, since we are now in the twilight zone realm world. And look at that, we are in our human form still. I thought we turned to a wolf. <laughs> nope, Chuck Testa. We are our wolf after all. That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, look, how lovely. The black clouds of Twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look so much better like this in those dusty old clothes anyway. Hee <laughs> hee. So let's get going. Alright. So I guess we gotta go this way. Oh, I wanna see if there's any rubies. Is there any of those little places? Or like the little place I can dig up? Probably not. I wouldn't doubt it. And what the hell? What is this? <gasps> it's... Oh my goodness, it's the kids! Tallow, Mallow, there's Elia, and then there's Colin! Oh my goodness gracious! We learned the youth scent! See, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now use X to hone your senses. You've begun to reawaken as a wolf, I think. Hee <laughs> hee! All right, so let's see. Can we do anything now? Hmm. Is there any place I can dig up, though? I wonder. Whoa. Oh, the scent follows through. That's so cool. Just like how dogs can sniff things like that. Is that yeah, dogs can sniff like that. I think. I'm pretty dumb. So we're just going to go ahead and follow this trail. And oh gosh, enemies. And we can't escape. All right. All right, guys. All right. You know what? Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I only- No, no, I need to kill the- I need to kill these two as well. There we go. And that's how you take them down, ladies and gentlemen. We are just the most awesomest people around. Even though we're not really a people. Not even a person. We're a wolf. And that's all that matters. Holy cow. What's this? That's strange. The bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Ah, well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. Wait, what? The yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from the darkness, a portal opens that looks like this on the map. You hear me? It's called a portal. You better remember that. <laughs> I will, Minna. And in those woods we came through... Yes, it's got to be around there. I'll use my power to take you to that location of the open portal. Pick where you want to go. Wait. Wait. Here? Wait, did it say it was here? Or was it here? I, I That was not really specific. So I'm just going to go to the place that's the closest to where that was. Because I honestly don't even know. <laughs> I'm going to feel really dumb. I apologize, but I really did not see where exactly that was. Oh boy, I feel dumb. See, I told you, we're here. You know, most people can't leave the Twilight that easily. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. Look hard. What the shit? Is that it? Is that it? What? Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Shall we take it? What? We can't take it? And I saw that in the cutscene. I'm like, wow, it's a bridge. Good little obedient wolf. Wait, what? 
Um, here? Uh, question. Wow, I, I don't even know. What is going on? Midna? How in the hell are you doing that? And how did the bridge get here? Uh, okay. And looks like we're leaving too. Apparently. I don't even know what the hell just happened just now. So, bear with me! Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that easy to find it. But it was pretty huge, and it's not that hard to, uh, it's not that hard to notice. It was not that hard not to notice. But, I, I'm still confused of what the hell just happened just now. <laughs> so, I'm not going to question it. Not going to question it. Okay. So, the bridge is here. See, just as I thought. Hee <laughs> hee. So, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you were looking for, don't you think? Alright, let's keep going. Well then. <laughs> That's very convenient, I suppose. The trail still goes off. But is there anything else? Is there anything up here? I, I really don't want to go too far off the beaten path, but I would like to see if there's anything else. Probably not. Probably not. This place is pretty big. And this is just bringing me to a whole new area. Uh, let's see the map. Well, at least it doesn't really go anywhere too important. It just goes up here. Is there anything... Okay, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to follow the path that I'm supposed to be following. Because if I go off the beaten path, I'm going to get lost. Like, really badly. So let's go ahead and find that trail. There it is, and this enemy is gonna die. Can I kill it? No, I can't. Can I do the final blow here? I don't really know if I can even do that as a wolf. Alright, that's what we came out of. Alright, you know, let's not waste any time. Let's just go ahead and just run through. I'll kill this guy, because I'm a nice guy, right? Uh, yeah, I, I can't even do the final blow as a wolf. That's upsetting. I thought the wolf had his own cool little power. I don't even know. Alright, let's go this way, since the, the trail is leading us to go this way anyway. Huh. What are they doing there? This is a pretty elaborate gate. What are they trying to keep in, or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. <laughs> that seems like an, op like an option. Thank you, Minna, for telling me about that. Because honestly, I probably wouldn't have noticed it myself. Alright, let's go ahead and kill these guys. I don't even know why I'm killing the enemies, I'll be honest. I Alright, you know, I only think I can even do the final blow in those well, so I'm just gonna let these guys go. I'm gonna let them live, because I'm a nice guy, right? I'm a, I'm a pretty nice guy, I think. Alright, so we're going this way now. Where are we now? Wait, this is Kakariko Village? This is Kakariko Village? That's confusing. Oh god, there's enemies. I'm going to kill them. Sweet. There we go. Oh, there's another one? I did not even see another one. Oh, he's all the way over here buying some things. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Wait, is it only I have to kill two? No, because the guy is going to shriek him back. Or I could just kill them all before he even does that. So that is something. And it also creates another portal, so we can get back here at any given point. Oh! And since we got the portals, and... To the hero, who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast, in the realm of shadows, in twilight. This way. Okay. This looks pretty obvious. We've seen this before. No worries. I am a spirit of light, hero chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. We got the vessel of light. It's crucial to collect in the tears of light. If you fill it with tears, okay. So this is something we've already done before. This is pretty nice. And since we have the portals now, or I'll get into that in a moment. The insects of darkness. They are in the form taken by the evil that attached itself to my scattered light. In the shadowy twilight, the shadows and insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the location of the tears that have turned into shadow insects. 
but be careful. The darkness now hunts you. Alright, so we are hunting for Twilight again. And of course, this... They're all in one location. That's very, very nice, isn't it? Alright. Oh, and since we have a path that we can take, or since we have those portals, I believe we can go ahead and teleport anywhere now, I assume? So, all the optional stuff that you guys could tell me in the comments, I could actually do them, which is very, very nice. Okay, so we are hunting for Tears of Light. Oh, uh, we can't go through doors, though. Unfortunate. Wait. Cripes! How in the heck am I supposed to babysit someone else's little brats when I ought to be saving myself? Oh, uh, that is pretty selfish, dude. Just saying. I'm pretty selfish. Oh! Wait. Hey, you can climb up here! I will climb up there. Sweet. Whoa! Okay, we are just fat, apparently. We are the fattest people around. Isn't that lovely? Wait, what? <gasps> it's the kids! Cripes! I don't see those black brutes anywhere. They, uh, they gotta be hiding somewhere, waiting for their helpless little prey to f come out. Then they'll feast! We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah? I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against beasts this strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. Oh my. You connecting the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be. Barnes! Yeah, they're kids. They're just kids. Don't be saying that to kids. Look, Ronaldo. <laughs> Ronaldo! Oh, Renato. Uh, Renato? Ronaldo. I don't know. All I, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. <laughs> what? You got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. Oh my god, this guy's insane. I would not do that. Wait, what? When father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beast outside. Oh no. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Oh, her name is Beth. I thought her name was Elia. Link is coming to save us all. Wait, Beth. <laughs> I can feel it. Oh, we're here, though. I mean, we're not in the form that you'd like us to be in, but we're here. These kids knew you'd come save them. What a hero. How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. Hee hee hee. You are chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You may be doomed to toil in obscurity forever. You're in the type of you're the type to worry about everything, I can tell, but don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs after all. Anyways, what's with having the light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? Hee <laughs> hee. Actually, I'm going to end this episode off here. So, is there a way I can get out? If there isn't, I'm just going to end the episode off here and uh, see. Uh, yeah, because we're getting pretty long into the episode. I'm actually just going to save my game. And uh, if it takes me somewhere else when I uh, load the game back up, I'll just meet you guys back in here. But that was a lot of information. I feel bad for those kids, though. Alright, so with that being said... I will end this episode off here. Next time on Twilight Princess Blind, we will go ahead and get the rest of the, or start collecting the tears to, uh, to help that spirit Elden, I think. That's what... Yeah, it's probably Elden. And uh, see what else we can do about those kids and, that, and those people. So with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching, and I will see you next time for more Twilight Princess Blind.